Yes, this is Luis from Aragon and today I'm gonna show you how to open a token sale on Aragon. So first of all we have to go to the fundraising uh, option in the left and then after that we we see here all of the different um, let's say token sales that I have already created um, and I will go ahead and create a new one. So when creating a new a new token sale, a new race so as we call it here, there are two options working right now. Um, so these two options are basically whether to do a private individual race, so you know comparable to how you do it in the startup world with you know VCs or business angels, all of that, or whether to do a public one, which would be comparable to doing a token sale in the crypto world. So let's go ahead and, and do a, a public one since you know it's kind of the the thing that it make, makes more sense in the crypto world and you know it enables a new model for, for tokens and for exponential growth and network effects that we haven't even seen before. So let's go ahead and create one of these. So here you just have to write a name for the race. It can be like a very arbitrary name, uh, whatever you want. Uh, you know, we can even like put an emoji here. And so here we're gonna we're gonna choose which stock to give to buyers of this uh, of this race. So we are gonna give them voting stock. And the price for each of these tokens that people are gonna buy is gonna be, you know, for example, a dollar per token. As you can see here, uh, this is dollars and this is ether. So you can see with uh, what's the conversion, and you can customize your displaying currency and settings. So you can have any kind of currency, and it gets converted on the fly for displaying purposes. So we'll just type one, uh, so one dollar per token, and there's going to be a minimum of uh, ten dollars to be sold out of tokens, or let's just say one and a maximum of 100. And here we have the deadline. The deadline basically is when the offering closes, so people will not be able to buy tokens after this deadline. So let's say one week. And that's it. Um, also the minimum and maximum, you know, it's pretty much self-describing, but you know, the minimum is minimum required uh, for for this race, and the maximum is uh, the cap. Is you know, if it goes over this cap, people will not be able to buy more tokens from this race. And so uh, I can do this via an executive. You know, basically, it's because the way I set up the company, I can do this. It may change. You may require to make a voting, for example, and for voting power to to you know to vote if they want to do the sale or not, but in my company I have configured it so any executive user can do it and I'm an executive of this company. So I'm going to go ahead and create this uh, stock sale, this token sale. So I'm just confirming that, you know, everything's okay. I'm going to deploy this new contract that is going to take care of the, of the race. And so now it's it's working. And I have to confirm again. And again. And here we go. This is our new token sale. So this is the token price, the available tokens, and uh, what's currently raised. So it ends in, in a week. Um, and this is also like a handy method of viewing your current conversion to, to dollars. Obviously, it's all Ether, but it's, this is handy. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send, for example, you know, one test Ether to this address. Ta-da! Now there are only 99 available shares and uh, we just raised an Ether and it's me who actually raised it. So uh, 
that's it. You have seen how easy it is. You can maybe send this address to other people in the testnet and they, they will be able to send more uh, ether to you. And then it either closes when the cap is reached or when the token sale is ended in, in time, which would be a week from now. So that's it. That's how you create a token sale with Argon. Thanks a lot for watching and feel free to join our Slack community at argon.chat. Bye-bye.